before and right. get, get, become a part of it. How does that seep into your character or seep into you? Well, it's, it's, it's yes, it's, um, it's twofold, really, because there's the, the character aspect of it, and there's also the opportunity that you have as an actor to, um, you know, this is an opportunity you don't really have in film, because you, you just work hard at it, and then you see it, and there's nothing you can do. But uh, there's something about um, watching the work that we've done and seeing where we can tweak it and, and, and just... And, and, adjust things here and there and 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 that's I, I feel like it helped me to watch it helped me understand the tone of the show more and what other people were doing and and to sort of come at it from a, a fresher angle and and just really just embrace it embrace everything about it and i think the the same with the writing you know i think that we because we have new showrunners there's eric carmelo and nicole snyder and i think they really um went along and dug deeper with the um, the, t the tongue-in-cheek tone of the show but also how how do how dark ex exploring how dark we can we can we can go and while you know sticking to, while keeping some humor in it and, and so that's that's I think season two hopefully excels at that I want to just one follow-up it's interesting when I think about your, the point of your character is coming to midnight mm -hmm. So and you've come to yeah. Albuquerque. So was there a parallel that you course, that you were able to apply? To? That always um, that always helps for me uh, because there's nothing else to focus on but the work and obviously you know my character being a newcomer and and, and having to yeah it's it's just pretty um, self-explanatory <laughs> I would say it's, it's just something that you don't it's something less to work on right that sort of feeling. It's just already with you. Since uh, Zelda moved on at the end of yeah. season one, how does that affect your character in how season two at all? Um, well, uh, <laughs> on an emotional level. On an emotional level. Um, but, um, the, because I was watching. I, 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 think, uh, I think it makes him more fearless. Um, Snooky had one on her. He's he's lost a few anchors in his life, and I think he's That's he's awesome. just able to yeah, to tackle greater challenges without thinking twice about it. But yeah, I have to say that Zelda, I mean, the, 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 the Zelda may may be coming back, you know. But, 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 but as tragic as it was to read that episode in season one where where she moves on, I understood like the dramatic sense, and it was it's good for Manfred's arc. And, uh, it's, uh, it's crazy but the, I think they managed to bring Zelda back in a way that doesn't feel like cheating. I got, I understand. Um, so it, it makes sense. It, it makes sense within the mythology that we've created. We found a very creative way to bring her back. She won't be as present, but there, but there's definitely a presence of Zelda. Can you talk about your character's interactions with um, the hotel owners, the new characters coming in? Yeah. Oh no, it's um, it's 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 it's, mount, it's mountainous. Well, uh, it's a high desert, but it's, you know everyone's uh, yeah, uh, everyone's slightly suspicious of them. I'm 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 my character experience is like a blend of suspicion and also of concern for them because I know that the hotel is haunted. I'm, I, I I know that they're bringing new people who like are potential victims um, of of whatever's going on and whatever darkness there is there. Uh, uh, Kai. Uh, the it's healer nice is, um, but it's not necessary. It's a bit standoffish at first, and and seems particularly threatened by by Manfred. I, I, I mean, and I think that threat of sort of materializes like, uh, when, uh, when Manfred and and and, and Patience, Kai's wife, sort of become part partners partners in crime. I'm in a way. Uh, so yeah, not everyone's a big fan of that. <laughs> you used a key word, which I think is very important to this whole series. It's playing around with mythology. Yeah. Various mythic characters, mm. mythic figures, and uh, you know, of course, you gain the greater strength as you've mm -hmm. gone on. How? What have you learned about mythology, the mythology of the show, and these mythical figures, mm -hmm. and how is it? Did you find something so you brought from outside that you applied, or my, me myself, or, or or Manfred? There's always well, like, we go well, really both. Dark, you so could, both. Why not? But then they like I was going well, to say, well, you in under in yeah. playing Manfred and playing Manfred, yeah, Manfred, yeah. Manfred used, but now I want to hear about you as well yeah, in terms of learning. 
Yeah, I'm like, well, we're preparing for the show. The first season, I really got, I, I really got interested in, 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 in just it's, it's been cool and the been ghosts and the presence of the sort of other worldly presence that, that people <laughs> pretend to feel or feel in, 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 in a room and, uh, and and how we could how it was possible to ground that in this sort of in this universe but I think the writers this season really expanded the mytholo mythology it's very, I mean I'm really surprised at how ambitious it became uh, it really departs from 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 the book and this sort of um, um, I mean it's still relationship centered but it departs from this the, the soapy dynamics of like the couples and all that like it, it, but by the end of the second season it's really you know we go to other I mean physically move into other realms and 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 and, 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 and it's surprising to read at first but but um, it all makes sense, you know. They they tie up loose ends, and, and, and by the end of the season, it's like the the, the world that uh, the uh, writers managed to create with put that in the right stud with the show goes well beyond midnight and well beyond uh, I mean, the physical world as we know it. It's it's very cool. And, and since you mentioned yourself, did it make yeah. you think? Wait, maybe there are these. Maybe there are these things. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's boring. You know what? On my days boring. off, I, <laughs> I try, I try to not think about that too much. Um, no psychic yeah. powers you like, found yourself having? Really sweet things. <laughs> not yet. Still waiting. Still waiting. <laughs> Oh, when you say uh, moving into different realms, does that mean the level of visual effects is going to be increased this, this season? Um, I think they're like... I mean, it, in a way, yes. I think they're like fewer and, and far between. Like, there, there's, I think there's hope. The goal was to have less, but to have them better executed. Uh, and, and it's more... Um, I think the mythology gets ambitious and... and really with the ideas at its core as, as opposed to just like throwing like impressive visuals um, you know there's but, but like look, I don't know what I'm allowed to say it's really difficult to do. Um, but okay my character physically travels to um, I think she was I don't know if she wrote for Buffy back in the day either Okay, she's something we could call like witch, witch, witch hell, um, and, she wrote on something <laughs> and, uh, and into a painting. So, you, right, so like there's a there's a uh, so, into mean, a painting that's set in a different location and, and in a different Josh, era. So there's like there's it's it's not time travel, but it flirts with that idea I think, I as think well. So, we see though any well, new locations I, that are in our realm, but like physically outside of the town. Very few, <laughs> very few actually. But, I mean, very like you know, I isolated locations, but not we're not exploring uh, uh, the Davy, which is. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a, I think there's a bar. The, yeah, there's a bar we go to in Davy. There's but someone really not that much. We're not going to Dallas or New York. <laughs> Since you you know have had this, you're, you're a, the senior a senior guy in, in this world. Do you feel? As an actor, that you need to make sure you keep the rules in play, or do you like when they make you go outside the rules? Um, do you know what I'm I mean, saying? I like that when they challenge that idea. Sometimes it's like, but I also think that it's 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 my goal to 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 fend for 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 for, for, for Manfred's, uh, you know. But yeah, we miss her. We she did a wonderful job. For Manfred to stay grounded and for and for everything to stay believable. Sometimes it's interesting when you have like visiting directors or um, to to just go like, well, you know that the, the, you know more than they, than they do about like certain um, aspects of that that mythology. But. Do you find the whole idea of the, these ensemble shows really yeah. fascinating? Yeah. Because it changes the way shows kind of go. It kind of allows you to go in all kinds of different directions. You even you don't expect. Uh huh. I mean, is that sort of an exciting process for you, as opposed to something that's a bit more focused and you know, focus on, on one on one idea or one yeah. person? Or, you know, here you things can go off in different directions. I mean, yeah, you just have to go along with the ride. You know, it's not like a. It, 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 you, know, you really have to stay open and, and, and ready for, for anything they throw your way. Uh, it's not like you're like a film you can prepare from start to finish. Or, you know, act, act one, two, three, or like a play. You know, there's that's just the nature of television as well. 
well. I, I guess like this lends itself to more surprises than other shows, but but I think that's just like what TV is like. If, if it, shirts in my wardrobe. How has it changed you as an actor? Do not wear a shirt. Um, <laughs> it has been. It is such a pain in the ass, let me tell you. You know, I, I, th I think especially this season, there's... there's um, I'm allowing myself to... That's true. To, That's, well, to usually those scenes are... Depart uh, from, from in, what I in the studio, think so of it's a little warmer. the character. Yeah. The, the I'm not like Joe, nature, ripping my shirt off to fly. And, and, and there's <laughs> just... A, a, Poor guy. It allows me to jump from... Like, if, if Manfred is living something oh, incredibly dramatic, oh, guys, was a uh, I can, I can much, ground yeah, that and, and, and as... As um, tangible or reality, but then you know, be possessed by a by a ghost that takes him completely out of himself, and like and brings me into a comedy all of a sudden. So like, there's we're really exploring that this, this year.